lately, I've found myself tuning into more anime than anything else for my go-to entertainment, and there are a few reasons behind this shift in my viewing habits. I'm Troy from Arcs on Anime, and today I'm going to lay out for you the reasons why I haven't totally turned off of Western media, but I've certainly shifted to mostly watching anime. Now, on with my story. This video is going to be a little different than ones I've posted in the past. I'm not using any references or articles or anything like that. This is just something that's been on my mind for a while that I really wanted to get out there. After all, sometimes I use my YouTube channel more as a sounding board for my opinions, and it's kind of cathartic to get my opinions out there. <laughs> And you never know, somebody out there on YouTube may also feel the same way that I do and get some value out of this content. Dylan, you son of a bitch. One of the biggest factors for me switching is my disappointment with Disney. Once known for its creativity and originality, Disney's recent reliance on sequels, reboots, and live-action adaptations has left me feeling let down. The constant stream of remakes and lackluster sequels just doesn't capture the magic of the originals, and it's driving me to seek out more compelling content elsewhere. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. The live-action Cinderella actually added to the story of Cinderella and was actually a really great film. The Maleficent film completely rewrote the story of Sleeping Beauty. While it was interesting and fun, it made Disney think that all their villains needed to be sympathetic and not just, you know, evil. The live-action Beauty and the Beast was fine, but then we got CGI animals passed off as a live-action version of Lion King, and it wasn't good. The Little Mermaid was long, stupid, and lost a lot of money. They're keeping up with this trend on top of pumping out a bunch of content that no one asked for, no one wants, and that's boring and poorly written, from Lucasfilm, Marvel, Pixar, and Disney Animation. They just let creatively devoid, vapid, political ideologues infect their company and ruin their products. Not a great plan. Another reason for my switch to anime is the lack of woke politics that often dominates Western media. Anime tends to focus more on storytelling rather than pushing a specific agenda, which I find refreshing and allows me to immerse myself in the story rather than feeling like I'm being preached to. At the same time, I don't need conservative politics in my media either, which anime doesn't usually do. I don't need to be preached to about Jesus or how amazing America is at all turns. But once in a while, I also don't want to be told that I'm an oppressor just because I was born with a lack of melanin in my skin, that I should hate my country for the evils that happened one to 200 years ago, and that Christianity is something to be mocked. It's the same tired tropes all the time in Western media, and it's not even offensive anymore. It's just boring. I can't take it anymore! I just want to die! I've also grown tired of the predictability of Hollywood cinematic universes, franchise reboots, and spin-offs. I am dead inside. While these franchises may have initially piqued my interest, the endless sequels and reboots have started to feel stale and formulaic. Anime, on the other hand, offers a diverse range of storytelling that continually surprises and captivates me. How many times do old, beloved movies need to be rebooted? Why do we need a new The Crow film? Why do we need a new Roadhouse? Who wanted these, and who the hell asked for them? Oh my god, who the hell cares? Then there's spin-off films coming out, like the one about the valets who took Cameron's father's car for a joyride in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. What? What the fuck? Even if you want to do spin-offs, you pick that. Why aren't you more ashamed of yourself? Plus, we've got spin-off miniseries and a spin-off movie for John Wick. Speaking of John Wick, we're getting 500 sequels of everything and the building of damn near every somewhat valuable IP into a damn cinematic universe. Just let things be. You're in for it. There's the occasional anime that goes on and on like Dragon Ball Z and Bleach, but most just have their series, it ends, and they leave it at that. Additionally, I'm drawn to the visual style and artistry of anime. The vibrant colors and unique character designs and stunning animation create a visually captivating experience that is unmatched in Western animation, in my opinion. A blessing, a blessing from the Lord. This visual flair combined with compelling narratives and diverse genres of anime has made a consistently rewarding and enriching viewing experience for me. Conversely, look at shows that look exactly the same and are visual artistic vomit here in America, as far as I'm concerned. This isn't about the quality of the shows, but look at things like Steven Universe, Gravity Falls, Over the Garden Wall, Adventure Time, etc. Hell, even look at things like Rick and Morty. I've heard good things quality-wise about those shows, but they're not visually appealing to me at all when compared to most anime. 
Oh my god. Oddly enough, the most visually unique graphics I've seen in quite some time were from Disney's Wish. Anime is also incredibly diverse. Sure, you have a majority of male characters leading the pack, but there are also a ton of badass female characters in anime. The female characters don't always have to be putting down the man, showing how much better they are than the man, and telling the man that they're dumb and evil just for being a man. Yes, the fact that anime is made over in Japan means that if they're not aliens, the majority of characters are either white or Japanese, or white Japanese, but there are quite a few diverse animes if you're talking about diversity of skin color. There's also diversities of characters, perspectives, backgrounds, and things that actually matter past just what your skin looks like and what genitals you have. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? It's nice to see that once in a while instead of a character whose only personality trait is I'm a strong independent whammon who don't need no man. Or a character that has to tell you 500 times that they don't like sleeping with the opposite sex. Who cares? Oh, gay. Gay, 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 so gay. I don't mind gay characters or trans characters or anything else in my anime. Just make your character more deep than that. If the only thing I walk away from the show or movie knowing about you is that you're gay, something is wrong with your character. You know, and I'm not judging you, but I'm just saying every, everybody else is gonna. And you're a boring, one-dimensional cartoon. And I'm not just talking about because they're drawn. To put a bow on all of this, my shift to anime has been driven by my desire for original and engaging storytelling, which I have felt very lacking in the majority of Western media for the better part of a decade. On top of that is my disenchantment with the direction of Western media, focusing more on political messaging and more... quantity over quality of the product. Plus, I have an appreciation for the unique visual style and artistry of anime. As I continue to explore the world of media coming out of Japan, I look forward to discovering new stories and experiences that will continue to captivate and inspire me. <laughs> I'm never gonna have sex again. Comment with your thoughts on all of this. Do you agree with my points? Why or why not? Does this inspire you to want to check out more anime? If you're not already deep into it, that is. And do you have any suggestions of animes that I should check out? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, please share this video around to everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell to be notified every time we post brand new content. I've been Troy for Marks on Anime, and we'll see you next time. I mean, really, you're kind of weak. <laughs>